Okay, so let's just jump into this. This status has been going around Facebook for the past two days now. So I finally got wind of it and I wanted to talk about it. So BV is an STD and she proclaimed that she didn't care four times. So while this may be posted as a joke or to get shares, likes or whatever, because Facebook does have their um, performance bonus back up. There's so many people in the comments in her original post that's agreeing with this. And you guys know me. Every opportunity that I can educate somebody about the vagina, I'm going to do it, period. I don't care about what anybody says. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. So one of the commenters, Angel Berry, she stated that getting BV as a virgin was an absolute myth. And we all know that that is not true. Um, BV can be contracted after you have your period because the pH of blood is about 7.3 and the pH needed for a regular vagina is about 3.8 to 4.5. In some cases a 5.0, it just depends. Um, science is ever changing. So that information has changed as well. So um, she went on to say that, you know, if you got BV after your period, that means that you're extremely dirty. And, you know, other commenters on the original post were going and saying like, you know, people are just making things up. They're dirty. It's a STD, yada, yada. But I cringe at the fact that there's younger women on this post agreeing with this stuff and they're really not educated on what's really going on here. And I'm sad about it. I'm so sad about it. Um, I can remember in my days in school that little girls would poke fun and laugh oh my gosh she smelled like fish she smelled like fish not about me but just about anybody in particular and they don't know why you know the person who does have that fishy smell doesn't know why and the person who's poking fun at them they probably smell like fish themselves or if in in the case that they don't they still don't know why that's happening so when we're spreading this information for a Facebook performance bonus or for clout or for laughs, there's some little girl out there, there's some grown woman out there that's really suffering from information like this. So so here's some more context and more of the conversation that me and Angel Berry and um Chelsea Cobbs was having. My issue with this is that I you know I don't care about anybody saying that I was dirty blah 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 you know people it's it's words but what I care about again is that these little girls and these grown women still have this type of mindset and it's not conducive to the conversation you know what I mean it's it's not helping anybody and someone's going to see this and take it for the bible the gospel and continue on their life and they're internally harming themselves. So here's some more of the conversation. Um, she went on to say that if her daughter was still a virgin and the doctor told her that, you know, obviously she was still a virgin, she had BV, she would believe her daughter, um, you know, and there's obviously more than one way to catch BV, but it's more likely to happen if someone is having sex with somebody which is also not the case. Like, I remember an ex-boyfriend, he was per like perfect, never had issues with BB, never had issues with BB. Um, BB, he ate right, he didn't drink, he didn't smoke, like he was the most healthiest guy I had ever met in my life. So no, just because you have sex doesn't mean you're gonna get BV. Um, she said it's unlikely, it's highly unlikely to happen if you are a virgin. No, it's not. Like, it's not. It happens every day. It literally happens every day. Sweat could trigger it. Foods could trigger it. Medicines could trigger it. Anything could trigger BV. It's not a monolith to sex. So one of the comments, like I would be so upset if I got forgot to mention this, but one of the comments was like, no, black women are way more susceptible to BV because we have more lactobacilli crispatus. Now, baby, I don't know her background. I don't know who she is, but I was living for the comment because I literally did a whole TikTok 
on studies about lactobacilli crispatus, lactobacilli enters, which enters um, is more likely to be in the Caucasian or European women, so which is why they experience BB less than us, right? So I was living for the comment. I was living for the comments that were just completely dispelling this toxic trash, this toxic... Um, if your vagina stinks, there's something wrong with you, you're dirty. I was living for it because in this culture, in 2023, we're about to be in 2024, there's no reason why grown women should not know about their bodies. There is no reason grown women should be having these conversations with the wrong information. There is no reason why grown women who use these organs daily, right, should not be educated on it. Like at this point, I feel like our bodies, our body parts should be taken off, put in a lockbox and only passed out after a written exam. Like I wouldn't be opposed to that. I don't know who we need to talk to about getting that done, but at this point we need it.